But I'll go a step further. Here is his master. Here is his master, Barack Obama, when he was a candidate in 2007. I want you to listen to the words of Obama when he railed against monitoring or spying on citizens who did nothing wrong. Listen to 14. This administration also puts forward a false choice between the liberties we cherish and the security we provide. I will provide our intelligence and law enforcement agencies with the tools they need to track and take out the terrorists without undermining our Constitution and our freedom. That means no more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. <laughs> no more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more tracking citizens who do nothing more than protest a misguided war. Uh-huh. Now, that was candidate Obama. Now that he became absolute, you know, look, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Lord Acton said that, I think, uh, quite a while ago. Power corrupts, and absolute power has absolutely corrupted Obama. Listen to clip 15. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. That is not who we are. Oh. And it's not what is necessary to defeat the terrorists. The FISA court works. The separation of powers works. Our Constitution works. We will again set an example for the world that the law is not subject to the whims of stubborn rulers and that justice is not arbitrary. Then why did you spy on patriots and ignore radical Islamists, Mr. President? Can you explain that? You spied on innocent Americans. Your own attorney general, right after the Boston Marathon bombing, said that you suspect it was tax protesters who were responsible for that bombing. The last piece people on your mind or on your radar, because you have reverse profiled, were the Muslims who did it. You are a clear and present danger to our very democracy. You have become the most dangerous man in this country. You are the man we have been all warned about, and you are now here, and you're ensconced in power. And you are so powerful that all of us fear you. But it doesn't mean that all is lost. If this one young man, 29 years of age, who voted for you, can say enough is enough and out you with regard to your spying, then others will come forward. We need a floodgate of people in every agency in this country. The remnants of Americans in the FBI, the CIA, the NSA itself must come forward and they all must say, we are all Mr. Snowden. They should print T-shirts and say, we are all Snowden. There must be a million people and 10 million people and 20 million people say we are all Snowden. Just as the Dutch, when they were taken over by the Nazis, came out with, uh, and the Nazis put uh, armbands with the uh, Star of David on Jews to round, before they rounded them up. Uh, the Dutch put armbands, the Christian Dutch, the atheist Dutch, the non-Jewish Dutch, they all wore armbands so the Nazis could not distinguish the Jews as readily. We need the government workers who are still Americans to wear Snowden as an armband. 29-year-old American hero. The man should run for the presidency. The man should run for the presidency for what he did, not be lined up and shot, in, shot on a wall.